can see in the outdoor shots, it makes a lot of smoke when the engine's running. Uh, here inside, it gets a pretty smoky. And I made this pipe system, try to get the exhaust out, um, made a little outside part as a smokestack. And it, it helps, it gets the smoke out, but not enough, it still comes back into the shop. So I decided, let's uh, take the PTO drive off and get an electric motor an air compressor one and a big pulley that I had and also got some electrical stuff and let's see if we can convert from a PTO drive to be an electric motor uh, since the majority of time I use this crane it's inside the shop so we're gonna see if this works once we get it on there I've um, got the wiring done and then uh, started making some brackets just some temporary brackets that will clamp in place and one of the things I quickly found is that the 10 inch pulley wasn't enough so I found this 12 inch pulley but I had to make a little adapter insert to go on it just so it would fit the one inch shaft um, and still had it all clamped in place to see if that was enough of a advantage over the 10 inch one um, you can see here in the next shot uh, we've still got it clamped in place and we're going to try this uh, in the next video the switch wired in right here next to the valve so it's really easy to turn it on running over there um, see if we can it just wants to make it stop when you go to do something so we're gonna go ahead and add in this jack shaft and that'll add me uh, it'll double the torque and have the speed. I can handle it going slower, but it needs to be able to pull the load. So we're gonna add this jack shaft and see what happens. I reconfigured the pulleys so that the uh, six inch is right next to the three inch. Right, I got the new pulley and I uh, gave that a try all, uh, to start with here as a first configuration. Nice, uh, Unfortunately, it slipped too much on the, on the three inch one. So then I needed to reconfigure for the second configuration. Inch, which is connected and so I put the 10 inch on here. Here. And that's driven by the electric motor, and the six inch drives into the, to the 12 inch pulley. And uh, that gave a lot more grip to on the pulleys. The uh, 12 inch pulley that's on the pump right there. Um, we've got everything tensioned down nice and tight. Um, these AccuSet or AccuWrite belts stretch a lot so they take quite a bit to really get tight before they're usable otherwise they slip quite a bit. Uh, regular V-belt is definitely superior but in terms of getting set up and getting the right length um, having these little links that you can attach together get the right belt that's pretty nice so we're going to give this a try and uh, see how it works all right so there it is spinning <clears throat> down here so hopefully you can see that all right we're going to go ahead and use the valves and uh, show you how it works with the electric motor Raises right up, no problem. That's the big cylinders here raising up. Bring the knuckle down a little bit. Might be slower than uh, some of the commercial ones, but uh, hey, it works. Doesn't make any smoke from that engine, and uh, I've got plenty of time for, for running it. And so now we can actually get some use out of the crane. Let's go ahead and rotate it now.
see it extend the boom out. that switch mounted right here so all right I decided to uh, flip this jack shaft over to the top part of the reason why is that 10 inch pulley was just getting too close to the ground however when I did that uh, trying to put the motor back in its original position uh, it hits the belt and worse it hits this other pulley um, so I'm gonna show some brackets here in just a second so space the motor up to get it to uh, not interfere with that other pulley. I took some 1x2 tube, drilled some spacer holes, got another spacer block right here, and we're going to replace these short bolts with longer through bolts to go all the way up and through that. We'll have a similar being able to adjust the motor back and forth um, and maintain all the other adjustability that we've got here and uh, make it all work. So here we go. All right, so now we got the uh, one by two tube and spacer plate uh, all bolted in, and now we'll lift the motor into position and see how it fits. All right, there we go. We've got the motor back mounted on. It's all adjusted up tight. I had to take uh, two links out of that uh, AccuLink belt. Um, and you can see it, uh, it runs pretty close right there. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and Power it up and see how it works. All right, it works great. I went ahead and uh, lifted up the outriggers. So now we can test to see how much clearance. We had four and a half inches before, and now we're uh, just over eight inches. So that's a lot better. And it's still pretty low, but uh, that'll do it. I mean, this uh, we're not going to go out off-roading with it, but there is some rough stuff I'll take it out and through. So... Uh, that looks like the final configuration. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Next thing is I do need to, this is a, a 240 uh, cord, so two hots and a ground. And right now, just to have it temporarily into the welding plug. Um, so next up here, we'll put on a proper plug, wire in a proper receptacle. And then uh, that's a hundred foot of cord there, 12 gauge. Uh, so we'll get that over to the breaker box and have it uh, proper and safe. Thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate the views. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.